Hey guys, my name is Luis and welcome back to my studio. It has been a while, it has been a busy December, but let's get going again. So in this tutorial we will be talking about how you can use a reverb send channel or multiple reverb send channels to improve your overall workflow when making reverb for your entire track. Let's get into it. Okay, so as you can see, we have this little project going on in FL Studio right now. It's very, very simple. We'll just listen to it. So again, very simple project. We have this piano. And we have a strum guitar. We have a lead sound. We have a very simple bass a kick drum and a snare clap thing. And we want to add reverb to most of it, just to make sure that it sounds like it's in a room or in some sort of space. And I know that a lot of producers, including myself when I was in the beginning of my, you know, training kind of thing, I was always adding reverb to the effect rack right here on the sound actually. But what you want to do is to actually Add the reverb to another bus channel. You can do both things, of course, but I would always recommend to add the reverb to another bus channel um, because then you can control the reverb uh, by using a fader. Um, let me just set it up for you. So the first thing that you want to do is, of course, to have maybe a couple of reverb. Let's make one called long and short reverb. Reverb long and reverb short. Just like that. Let's also color them so we can tell the difference. There we go. And then we want to make a mixer channel called pre-master. And let's just color this entirely dark. And we also want to make a channel called SFX out, sound effects out, you know. And let's also color that entirely dark. So what we want to do now is to take the pre-master and move it onto number four. So if you press the pre-master, press Alt and then right click on your keyboard, then you will turn them around. What you want to do is to add all of these channels to the pre-master only. So route to this track only. This means that when your pre-master is turned on, you will be able to hear what you're doing. And when you turn it off, you can't hear anything. And we want that because now we can send our reverb channels to the SFX out. And then we can one by one send all of these channels to either reverb long, reverb short or both of them if we want to. Um, and then we can listen to the reverb only and we can also listen to the dry elements only, but we can also listen to both of them as we probably want to. But let's get some reverb. So if we start by the short reverb, I really like the reverb from native instrument called Realm right here. You can all, of course also use the reverb too from FL Studio. So here we have Realm. Let's just try to use Realm on the lead sound. So what you want to do is to highlight the one that you want to put reverb on. And then you go down to this little arrow right here and then you can adjust how much sound you want to send to the reverb channel. So for instance, right now, if we play it as it is as a default, it sounds like this. It's a very, very big sound, but we want it to be a short reverb as we just wrote before. So we want to put the decay time down to around a half second. Let's just do that right there. And we also want to turn up the mix. If you have a dry, wet volume knob on your reverb plugin, you want only the wet to go in. Uh, let me just show you this. If you are using, for instance, the Fruity Reverb 2, you have this dry knob. You want to turn that all the way down and the wet, you want to press it all the way up because then you will only be hearing the reverb. And we only want the reverb out of this channel. But now we are going back to Realm. You can also have a mix uh, knob. And if you do have a mix knob on the reverb plugin that you're using, you just want to turn the mix all the way up, then you will only be hearing the reverb. Um, let's try to listen to this again. Mm -hmm. 
We also want a bit of pre-delay so we can differentiate between the sound and the reverb. So let's just go for around five milliseconds on this short delay. So now we can listen to the reverb by itself. We just need to turn off the pre-master. So what we can do now is to also copy this reverb to the long reverb and simply just turn up the decay time to around two seconds and also increase the pre-delay to around 20 milliseconds maybe. And then if we also add the lead sound to this one and turn off the short and only listen to the long reverb, it sounds like this. And if we listen to the lead and the two reverbs together, it sounds like this. Sorry. So if we go back and forward with the reverb, it also sounds like this. It is a very huge sound um, at the moment. But what you can do now is to add the other instruments to these two reverbs, so you don't have to set up reverbs for every single channel. This can also save you a lot of CPU. So if we take this strummed guitar right here. If we turn on both reverbs, and if we add the strummed guitar to, for instance, the short reverb, we can listen to it and adjust it. And we will do the same thing with the long reverb. Let's do the same thing with the piano. Let's also do it on the bass. I don't like to put long reverbs on the bass, so let's just move on to the clap. And now everything sounds like this together. And without the reverb, it sounds like this. And with the reverb, it sounds like this. But what you can do now is to listen to the reverb only if you just turn off the pre-master. And then you can process the reverb any way you like. Of course, this hasn't been mixed at all, so if everything has been EQ'd and everything has been compressed the way it should be, then you can of course hear this much better. But this is how you can make reverb sense channels. You can also do this with delay and chorus and any other effects that is based on time. Um, and this is a very very handy thing to do, because then let's say you are having 48 channels, you don't have to load 48 reverbs on, um, so 
you can save a lot of CPU, a lot of space, and you can also save a lot of time by just take a channel and move it to wherever you want and put that much reverb on and this mod reverb on. Um, but yeah, other than that, thank you for watching. I hope you got something out of this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. I will be making more videos like this in the future. Comment if you have any questions, any problems. I'll try to answer as good as I can. Um, yeah, I'll see you. Goodbye.